Good morning. Welcome to the local news for today, Tuesday, December 3, 2019. Thank you for joining us. I'm Dakota Simpson Marshall in the news. Suriname and China signed extradition treaty. Maroons and indigenous people trained in sustainable forest management. Two-day workshop to improve living conditions of maroon and indigenous people. Suriname and China signed an extradition treaty during the visit of the Surinamese delegation to the People's Republic of China. The signing can positively influence the further fight against crime. Minister of Justice and Police Stuart Gutrau explained this weekend what formal cases concerning the Ministry of Justice and Police that are being picked up. The expansion of the Safe City Project was also discussed during the state visit. Tribal Maroon and Indigenous people are being trained in sustainable forest management and village development until 2021. This program is funded by the Alcoa Foundation and is being carried out in the three districts where the aluminum company Soralco was active, namely Brocopondo, Marowena, and Para. This program was initiated by Tropenbos Suriname and was launched in collaboration with the Van Hall Larenstein University, VHL. Rudy Van Kanden, director of Tropical Forest Suriname, explained that seven villagers from every district are participating in this project. Before the programs start rolling, there will be an inventory of what the villages have to offer, the so-called baseline assessment, after which the programs will start. These programs must ensure that the community forests are sustained. The traditional authority was also present during the official kickoff of the programs. The chief of Bigipoika explained that the locals were eagerly awaiting this training. Chief Ifna Frede indicated that the community forest of New Ganzi lies adjacent to the Brocopondo Reservoir. According to Frede, in addition to logging, intensive work can also be done in tourism. The project runs from November 1, 2019 to October 31, 2021. Improving the living condition of indigenous people and maroon communities is very important. The tools for this are being offered by Colombian experts in a two-day workshop. Yesterday, the kickoff of the workshop took place in the press center of the cabinet of the president. This project fits, according to Minister Edgar Decan of Regional Development, in the ministry's inter-rural development program. The collaboration with Colombian experts is part of the South-South relationship between Suriname and Colombia. The development of inland residents is central to this collaboration. This is also one of the sustainable development goals. The workshops that are currently being carried out have, according to the UNDP representative Margaret Jones-Williams, interfaces with the SDGs. The Sustainable Development Goals, SDG 1, which is on poverty eradication. So we're hoping that this opportunity for training will help to provide income generating opportunities for people as they improve their skills. Um, SDG 2 on zero hunger, ensuring food and nutrition security, because some of this will deal with agricultural projects in terms of productivity and producing of crops. Um, SDG 5 on women. You will see that there were some women uh, participating this morning and women and men will have equal opportunities for learning and for training. Um, we have SDG uh, 17, I had mentioned, on partnership, the partnership with other governments, the partnership with UNDP, the partnership with the communities, the partnership with the ministry and the people of Suriname. Um, SDG 8 on sustainable uh, production. Suriname can learn a lot from the expertise of the trainers. 
On the other hand, they also benefit from this collaboration. The Wanika Regional Hospital has closed its call for applicants this month. The final preparations are being made to make the hospital operational by the end of January 2020. Minister of Health Antoine Ilias explained that in this hospital, they will also be working with traditional medicine. For this, a cooperation agreement has been signed with the Chinese. Surinamese people will be trained to master the Chinese form of medicine. Within the framework of the official visit to the President of the People's Republic of China, the Surinamese delegation, led by the head of state, Desiree Delana Bautista, visited the Surinamese students in China. MP William Waido, who was part of the presidential delegation, spoke cheerfully about the more than 22 Surinamese students in China. He indicated that the students demonstrate a close form of nation building. Most Surinamese students in China are doing their master's or a doctoral study. That brings us to the end of local news for today. Stay tuned to the National Sender, STVS. Have a blessed day.